Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a zoom in effect in your presentations. Something like this. This usually comes in handy when uh, you're dealing with maps and you want to zoom in on a particular location or you would like to highlight certain texts or paragraphs in your documents. In this case, we have taken the uh, larger map of Manhattan Beach and then we are uh, so we've zoomed in on Clemens Merriman Crab House, good reviews, all you can eat, etc. Et so let's get uh, get to this. Um, to begin with, you should know that these are actually two images here. So we have a larger image and then we have a, a zoomed in image. Um, for the for the larger image, you can uh, you can simply copy paste this from from, uh, from Google or from Bing Maps. Now for this one, once you have zoomed in, then you take a print screen of that image and then you save it as a picture. Once you're done with that, let's uh, take the larger image here, we put it on our slide. Now for the smaller image, let's first create a, a new slide. Don't leave that. Okay, so um, now let's select the oval or make it only as big as you would like the zoomed image to be. Okay, so you've done this now. Let's right click on that shape and fill this. We will fill this with a zoom in image of this uh, crab house once we've done with that. Now we'll cut this image. and we'll place it over the larger image. Okay, so that is the first part done. Now the second part is for us to animate this. So let's first um, animate this with a fade in. Okay, so that it has a smooth like transition. Once you're done with that, let's add another animation. Remember, this has to have multiple animations. So we'll add an animation here and say grow and shrink and let's tweak a little bit more here. So for the first animation where it fades in, let's have that happen after the previous uh, previous action. Once done with that, again, let's also start this after the previous label. So now, let's test this. And let's look at this in slideshow mode. Press Shift F5. And there you go. So if you have any questions, please feel free to write to us at support at 24.0.com.